Hello, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to discuss about interruption, interception, modification, fabrication. Okay. So in network security. So first we'll discuss about interruption. So what is interruption? An asset of the system is destroyed or becomes unavailable or unusable. It is an attack on availability. Okay. So an asset of the system is destroyed. Okay, or becomes unavailable. So destroyed in the sense, all the contents will be lost and unavailable and unusable. Okay, so we can't use it further. Okay, so this is an attack on availability. Okay, a system is available. Okay, and uh, destroying that system as well as uh, making that system unavailable or unusable, which is nothing but interruption. So this is the major uh, threat or attack on any particular system or a network in a network okay so if you see the examples here uh, destruction of some hardware so if we destroy any hardware so then it comes under interruption if we jam the wiring uh, wireless signals or jamming of the wireless signals is one sort of an example of interruption and disabling file management system okay so that means your file you are unable to open the files you can't uh, access the contents of the files disabling the file management system also comes under interruption okay so uh, this is the first one second one interception so what is interception here an unauthorized party gains access to an asset for example you're working any uh, in any company you are authorized person in that company so you have every right to uh, open the system or you can do whatever work you want but the person who is not belonging to your company is an unauthorized person so if an unauthorized person want to gain access to your asset asset is your information so that means it's an it's an attack on confidentiality so which is nothing but interception okay so what is the definition here an unauthorized party gains access to an asset which is nothing but attack on confidentiality example wire tapping to capture data in a network so uh, if any unauthorized person tries to uh, capture the data which is present in your network which he is unable to uh, gain the access, but somehow um, the confidentiality, the in information which is confidential is leaked and that particular unauthorized person uh, is willing to mm, tap the information. Next, illicitly copying data or program. So that means uh, that unauthorized person trying to copy your data as well as the program. So, and the next one is eavesdropping. So all these comes under interception. The first thing, interruption, Second one is interception, okay? And third one, modification. When an unauthorized party gains access and tampers an asset, okay? So modification also same thing as an interception, but that person will gain the access at the same time he tampers the asset. So that means he will change the data or he will uh, delete the data or he will modify the data. So attack is on integrity. So previously uh, in interruption, attack is on availability. In interception, attack is on confidentiality. In modification, attack is on integrity. So if you see the examples of this, changing data file, alerting a program and the contents of a message. So if you have some data file and the contents presented it are changed, even though you have that data file with the same name, but the, but the contents are missing over it. Okay, so that person is, uh, the person changed the data. Altering a program and the contents of a message. So the uh, program is altered at the same time, uh, uh, contents of the message is also altered. Okay. And so next is uh, fabrication. An unauthorized party inserts a counterfeit object into the system and attack on authenticity. So uh, authentication. Um, a threat on authentication or an attack on authentication, which is called fabrication. So fabrication means what? Uh, changing the uh, information, right? So an authorized person inserts a counterfeit object in your system. So you have your system and that unauthorized person will insert a counterfeit into that system, which is nothing but your uh, attack on authenticity, which is also called as impersonation. So if you see the examples here, Hackers gain access to a personal email and sending a message. Okay. So he gains an access to a personal email and he sends a message uh, in which other people think that you sent a message to them. Okay. And insertion of records in 
data files. So if you see the uh, diagram here, so it's a normal flow. Uh, this is from information source and this is information destination. So information should go from source to destination without any interrupts, right? So if you see the four diagrams here, in interruption, what happens? The flow will be stopped, okay? So, um, and coming to interception, you can see, and modification that the data is modified and sent to the uh, destination again. But in interruption and interception, it, uh, the information is not sent to the destination, okay? So, recipient didn't receive the information which is sent by the sender in, inter uh, in interruption and interception. So, in modification, what happens? The data which you sent is modified and sent to the recipient. And in fabrication also, uh, the information is fabricated and sent to the receipt. Okay, so these are all uh, you know, four things. The first one, interruption, interception, modification, and fabrication. Okay, so um, I hope you understood the uh, video. So those who are watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well-wishers. And please support my channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.